Hi, I'm Summer from Grady Veterinary Hospital, and this is Declan, and we're going to talk to you today about pool and water safety. Boating is a great time to spend with family, and why not take your dog along with you? There's a few things that you need to keep in mind. Invest in a life jacket. Even though your dog may be a great swimmer, you don't know the conditions of the water. If there's a current or bad weather comes in, or even if they fall overboard, it's great to have one on your dog in case something like that would happen. Be sure that you provide plenty of shade for your dog while on the boat. Um, a lot of the surfaces on the boat can heat up fairly quickly in the sun. Just make sure that they have plenty of shade. And also be sure to provide plenty of fresh water for your dog. Be an out in the sun all day to be hydrated to pets. For those of us privileged enough to have above or in ground pools, there's also a couple of safety tips you need to keep in mind when your dog is around them. Make sure you supervise your dog at all times when they're around the pool. Make sure that they know where the steps are, how to get out of them, either whether you've got steps or a ladder. Make sure the dog knows how to use them and make sure they're highly visible so when they're in the water, you can actually they can actually see where they are. Another important part about pools is, are the covers. Um, pets can't see that there's not actually water there that's covered when they try to walk on them. Very easily get tangled and caught up underneath the pool cover, so just be aware. And for those of us who do not have above or in ground pools, another great option that's cheap and easy to take care of are kitty pools. There are several different kinds that you can get. Make sure you get the hard plastic ones if you're going to use it with your dog. The inflatable ones can care pretty easily with their nails, and they usually get pretty rambunctious when it comes to pools, so expect to get wet. Um, another thing that you want to keep in mind is the size of the dog that you're going to be having in the pool. If it's a smaller dog, just make sure that they're able to get in and out of the pool. Um, they make several different sizes of pools. Um, I think this is the medium sized one, but if you've got a little chihuahua or short legged dog, just put a rock or a brick inside the pool and on the outside of the pool, that way they've got a little stuff that's going to get in and out of the pool. Another thing to keep in mind is the water level that you have in your pool. If you've got a little short-legged dog, you don't want to put as much water. Maybe up to the chest level is plenty. That way, if they decide to lay down, their head is above water. Um, another thing to keep in mind is supervise young, clumsy puppies and older, unstable dogs. Make sure they don't fall in the pool and can't get back down.